Are you reading the fine print? And I'm not talking about just that little disclaimer at the end of a contract that gets you, woo, that gives you the bejeebies. I'm talking about the fine print in everyday life. Say you just met the man, the woman of your dreams, you get all excited, and then you find out, kind of like that saying goes, oh, it's too good to be true. Or say you've just been really focused on finding that career, that big job that you've always wanted, that job that you know can get you elevated, tons of money, vacation time, you can support, provide to your family. I mean, the list goes on. A lot of times we get so excited because we see these opportunities that finally come, but we're not reading the fine print, right? I'll give you a quick story that happened to me about almost exactly two years ago. I think you're gonna be able to relate because, whew, it's intense. And if you can't relate, it'll make you think and be more cautious about reading the fine print. One of the biggest life coaching companies were looking for life coaches. I saw, I went to the website that they're hiring, right? Like, why not? I had to do not one, but five audition tapes, fill out a bunch of applications. Long story short, seven weeks later, I get a phone call from headquarters and saying, the big boss would like to have a conference call with you. I'm like teary eyed, I'm all excited. I get on this phone call, it's like him and six other of his team members. They're like, oh my God, Jason, we love your energy. We love what you stand for. We love the companies that you have built. We love the jasonrosal.com, the Caliente Fitness, all this jazz, they're pumping me up. And then here goes reading the fine print. So for, with this job, you can make over half a million dollars a year. You get a company car. You, we pay for your stay Air and Bs. You'll be traveling uh, 12 months out of the year. I'm like, oh my God, this is so exciting, right? So you're just like, woo, in another dimension of happiness. So they send over this like, I don't know, I think it was 60, 65 pages of a contract. I'm like reading, I'm excited. My mom's like, Jay, this is it. This is it. This is, gonna, this is your dream job. You got to take it. And, and something told me, I said, mom, see, I'm getting nervous thinking about it. Let me just, can I send this to my lawyer? You know, let, let, let him revise. So send it to my lawyer. I have to pay a, a nice little fee, you know, because I'm signing my life away. And, and uh, yeah, we, we read on there and he, he did all the red, uh, the, the revisions. He, you know, highlighted in red X, Y, Z. They want to close down my companies. They want all my logos, everything that I've worked so hard for. And a split of a second, man. Split of a second, just done. So, of course, you know, my lawyer's like, if they don't change X, Y, Z, boom. We send it to them, neglected, right? But then he's like, look, 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 don't freak out, don't panic. I know all your friends and family want you to take this job, but here's the deal. I want you to read all the things in the fine print that were, that were just underneath and surfaced amongst pages and pages. Number one. Make up to $500,000 a year. Your base salary, Jason, is $40,000, right? $40,000 and you have to, you, you can make half a million, but in commissions. I was like, oh God. Company car, you get a company car, but they only give you $100 a month towards it. So you're not really getting the company car, all right? Then paid vacations, you get to work to travel. Yes, they only cover 40% of the actual expenses, such as hotel, food per diems, the list goes on. I'm like saying, oh man, let's just say a week later, we jumped on a phone call, you know, and they're like, oh, Jason, you know, this is with headquarters, this is with him, the biggest coach in the world. And, and, and they're like, all right, you ready to do this? We're gonna start next week, X, Y, Z. And Lord behold, and I mean, Lord behold, I said, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to refuse. And they're like, what, excuse me? You are refusing. They didn't say it like that. They're like, well, why is that? Well, well, cause we read the contracts, everything that my lawyer highlighted, you turned down. And just like when you started over 30 years ago, you built a brand and it took so long for it to be where it is now. And I plan on doing the same. And he says, look, I gracefully understand and respect that. Just make me one promise. And I said, what is that? that I get front row seats when you do keynote speaking at your events. I said, absolutely freaking lutely So my message to you and why I did this YouTube and podcast episode is 
to read the fine print, not just in a job opportunity, but whether it's someone that you meet or sometimes when it sounds too good to be true, really fine comb all the details, right? Go through it before you just jump into it. And I mean, this can, this can be relatable to say your next uh, fitness challenge that you're gonna do, right? Like, well, what is it gonna take? right? The next time you want to have or jump into a relationship. A lot of times we want to get in relationships, but we don't have the time to be in that relationship. Sure, ideology wise, you want to be like, oh my God, you know, I would love to have the perfect guy. We can go out to dinner. Da, 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 da. You know, you get all excited, but do you have the time to, demo, to devote? A lot of times say, oh, well, I'll make the time. Well, if you're working 40, 60 hours and say you have a kid, you know, and you have a lot of things or you have a, you're caring for a parent, you got to take things in consideration. Do you have time for a boyfriend, for a potential husband? Do you have time for a girlfriend, potential wife? Or do you have time for something just more casual and light? Ask yourselves and read the fine print. Sometimes you don't need a, you don't need a piece of paper to really understand. You just need to ask. I hope this episode inspired you. Please do me a favor. Send me comments. Send me voice messages on my podcast on YouTube. Let me know if this has ever happened to you. If you're dealing with something right now or if it's something deep and you're like, Jason, I need some one-on-one -on -one help. I want to work with you. As you guys may or may not know, I do one-on-one -on -one live phone and Skype coaching. So if there's something I can help you and better serve you, I'm here to assist no matter where you live. Keep that mind right. Keep that body tight. Any suggestions for next, next episodes, please let me know. And as always, keep it caliente. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.